This is your three-minute radiation fallout guide for Canada. The closest thing to an emergency management agency for Canadians is an organization called the International Association of Emergency Managers. This organization has seven councils around the world, Asia, Canada, Europe, International, Oceanic, Student, and a U.S. branch. The main goal of this organization is to promote saving lives and protecting people and property during emergencies and disasters. This, of course, would include a nuclear attack. Make no mistake, Fukushima is a low-level nuclear attack which is ongoing with a good portion of Canada and its crosshairs. This agency has greatly failed at this task, as well as the Canadian government, members of parliament, and individual municipalities when it comes to protecting Canadians from Fukushima fallout. It will take years and possibly decades to learn the real story and real numbers of what Canadians have been and continue to be exposed to, especially since the government turned off radiation monitors 10 months ago. The west coast of BC, in particular the Vancouver area, has been hit especially hard and many people from that region have seen changes already in the plants and gardens that would indicate significant radioactive contamination is present. There has also been a significant increase in infant mortality in the region. So what can Canadians do? Monitor the jet stream and tropopause, avoid all precipitation, especially if you live near the west coast, and make your health your number one priority for the time being. Another disturbing news item for Canadians is the recent closure of the Ocean Contaminants Research Agency. In light of the incoming tsunami debris and radioactive slick of contamination making its way across the Pacific and radiation being measured in tuna fish and kelp, there could not have been a worse time for this agency to close. It will be up to the Canadian people to clean up their beaches. It will be up to the Canadian people to assess their needs and respond appropriately. We are in the same boat in the U.S. Our government here isn't telling us anything either. British Columbia's Great Bear Region is where one of the world's last large intact temperate rainforests meets one of the world's most productive cold water seas and some of the world's last large wild rivers. All this and more is at risk from the fallout from Fukushima as well as the wonderful people that are our neighbors to the north. Please share love, caring, and concern for Canadians and all humans touched by this disaster. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.